Okay, so uh, today is the culmination of a three-day hardware hackathon uh, in partnership with Intel, ABP Food Group, and obviously DCU Innovation Campus. Uh, it's a hardware hackathon focused on the meat industry in Ireland, which is obviously a very important indigenous sector for us. Uh, and I think it's the first of its kind actually in Europe in that context. Uh, so over the course of the last 50 odd hours, uh, various teams have come together from a diverse range of backgrounds and disciplines, whether it be software developers, hardware engineers, designers, obviously agricultural people as well, to look at the future of beef and how the Internet of Things is going to affect uh, what is a very large industry in an Irish context anyway. So the first prize is a 10,000 euro cash prize, and that could be supplemented as well with another 5,000 euro cash prize from Intel if the winning project is also the project that makes the best use of the Galileo Internet of Things technology that they've developed. Well, the Internet of Things, as it's like to say, but many, many technologies, it's already here, it's just, it's just not widely distributed yet. And uh, it just means that we're going to have smarter and smarter systems. It means, in terms of data, just a massive increase in the rate of data that's going to be captured on the internet itself. But I suppose it gives us uh, all opportunities to actually make smart homes, smart industries, smart transport. Everything has this added level of smartness now because we'll be embedding smart devices through chips like the Intel Quark chip and Galileo board in everyday devices itself. I think there's a, new, a unique opportunity for Ireland to do something with this and the universities have a key role to play. I think it's very significant that one of the key chipsets involved in this, the Quark and Galileo board and the Arduino, all of this, came through Intel in Ireland. I think that's, that's created a surge of interest here and we're seeing it. This is the fourth or fifth hackathon we've had. So I think by, by events like today and by industry academic partnerships, the universities can actually play a significant role in making Ireland a global hub for the Internet of Things in a whole range of areas. Uh, there's little, very little awareness uh, in the food industry about the Internet of Things. Um, so the, the, the food industry really is all focused on taste, on, on texture, on shelf life, etc. Um, and really hats off for ABP to have taken the, the, the time and effort to put together a list of questions that took about a few months to, to put them together and understand the real problems that they face and how can they solve them and make them better using Internet of Things. For example, in ABP, how probably can make their meat better, more tender, um, um, make the cow healthier, happier before um, before turning into steaks. Um, so, um, so yeah, there's very little awareness, and there's a lot of work to to be done. The thing that's interesting from our side of the fence, from the Intel side of the fence, is that um, we have a, a belief and a trust and a knowledge based on our own experience that if you can take things, make them smart, and connect them to the internet, so that the the data about them is unleashed, then uh, obvious value is created and a whole pile of not immediately or early obvious value is, is, is presented. And so when I look at the, the range of stuff that was presented here today, for example, from tracking um, the degree of fullness of, a, of oil in a container and whether it's worth picking it up now or not, or it's been stolen, or whether water's being added to it inappropriately, or the um, sticking a sensor into a piece of food to determine whether it's tender or not. These are things that are being um, brought into the data world and then by unleashing that data, you ex smart people wrapped around those problem statements create new value. The economies and the companies and the individuals and the educational institutions, and small, medium or large enterprises, wherever you look, those that win in this will not be because they're huge. They will be because they're fast. It isn't the big that beats the slow anymore. It's the fast that beat the slow. And we see huge businesses that have gone from enormous to nothing. They've disappeared. The, the digital photography economy uh, eliminated um, uh, huge businesses in that space that, that thought they were here forever. And th that same digital economy has created Facebooks that go from nothing to billions overnight. Well, that revolution is about to happen in the physical world, not just the digital world.